Students begin by reviewing an array of strategies they use when approaching new words in reading. The classroom contains many supports to promote student independence, including word walls, anchor charts, and keys to reading comprehension. Individual students then reflect on how they select a just-right book that is at their independent reading level and their favorite strategies for dealing with unfamiliar words. We're going to take a minute to think about the two things we worked on in word study. We're going to think about using that strategy. If we don't know the word, we skip and go on. I also want you to look as you're reading to see if anything in your book shows you about those ED endings. Okay? So we're going to use that strategy. We're going to use all of our key strategies. So should we go over them one more time? Sure. Quick and fast. Look up here. What's Elliot's favorite strategy? Look, look, at the picture. look at the pictures. What is a good strategy when you're sounding out? Who can read it for me? Nice loud voice, Max. Cover part of the word and sound it out in chunks. I like chunks. Chunks really help me when I'm spelling. Um, this is what we do often when we're doing making words. What do we have to do? Isabella, stretch it out. So if we had a word like Evan. If I want to spell Evan's name, I would go Evan. Oh, this one's an important one. We're going to look for what we know inside the word. What might we find in a word that we know? Garrett? Smaller words? What else might we find? Max? Patterns. Patterns, good. Rhyming words, excellent. Little words and blends. Little words and blends. Very, very good. One of the things that you'll notice when you look around the classroom is there's a lot of information on the walls. The children need to know where they can look to find answers. And as we went through our day today, we noticed them using the word wall to help them study patterns. We noticed them reading the anchor charts that relate to writing and to self-selected reading. Those things are just a reminder to the kids of what they need to do as learners. What is the pattern? What's my favorite pattern we've been talking about? Persuasive. Well, it's a hard one. One of the words on the word wall. It's uh, put into chunks. Yeah, but what chunk do I like the best? Remember? Persuasive. Well, what I'm talking about is I G H T. Once we get that chunk down, we can make a million words. So that's a good strategy for us. And then again, sliding your finger as you <coughs> sound out the letters and the chunks. So when you're doing that, you really need to be thinking about what strategies you're using. This is the one that we did a lot today in our little activity. Skip the word, read the rest of the sentence, go back and try to figure out what makes sense and matches the letters in the word. So we have lots of words that make sense, but they have to match the letters. Say the first sound and think about the picture. Try another word. If the guest word doesn't make sense, doesn't sound right, or doesn't look right. Now, right now what we're going to do, you're going to get out one of your just right books for reading, and you're going to be thinking as you read about what strategies are helping you. Because when we're done, you're going to come back over here and we're going to talk a little bit about those strategies again. All right, boys and girls? Could be scary, but does that look right? Is that right for Seth? I decided to pick this book because I like mythical creatures. The drawings and the pictures made me like, really want to read it. When I come across a word that I don't know, I skip it, and then I um, like, go back to it and chunk it out, like put it in big chunks, and then I try to figure it out. Well, I find a little, like a little tiny word inside it, and um, do the, find the other words, and like, let's say that there's the S in it, and I know the sound of sh. So that would be a SH, so that's pretty much how I figure them out. A just right book is when you can read all the words and you get all of it. There isn't really hard words, but sometimes there's names that I can't pronounce, and I just sand it out, and so. I pick them, the book Three Bears, and I picked it because 
Yesterday we read a book about bears and I want to find out more about bears. I use the five finger rule, which is um, if you find five words that you don't know, um, it's not the right book for you. The Secret Agent Jack Star Wars. I picked it because I liked the other books in the series and it led up to this one. A just like book is a book that you can read without like any mistake. I would check my word, the word wall if I get stuck on a word.